Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. America in big trouble, and most people don't even know it. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Earlier this week, I was speaking with Henry Kissinger, who has a new book out on China. The former Secretary of State and I agree that China believes the U.S. may collapse economically, so the Chinese government very apprehensive because it holds so much of America's debt. Now, this week in Europe, President Obama will get quite an earful from foreign leaders who believe, as China does, that the USA is in dire trouble because of its massive debt. If America's economy collapses, the whole world suffers. But many Americans are not getting that. The election yesterday in upstate New York, where a Democrat won a congressional seat in a heavy Republican district, shows that some voters simply don't understand that Medicare has to be reformed. The winner, Democrat Kathy Hoffel, campaigned on not doing anything about the exploding cost of Medicare. Her campaign scared elderly people. The fact is that the Democratic Party simply will not tell the truth. You can't sustain entitlements like Medicare and Social Security based on their present form. There's not enough money to do it, no matter how much you raise taxes. Now, Talking Points recommends you watch the HBO movie Too Big to Fail, which debuted this week. It chronicles how close, how close the USA came to a financial collapse three years ago and how the bailout came just in time. Now, three years ago, in real life, I told you this. If the government does not bail out the financial industry, foreign investment will cut and run. That will lead to a worldwide depression, not a recession, a depression. You might lose your job. You certainly will lose value in your house and investments. Ideological theory has to walk when faced with that. Now, that talking points was a very tough call because I don't want federal government involved in private industry, and I don't want my tax dollars bailing out failing companies. But it had to be done. And we made the right call, while many others did not. The reason we were correct was that I saw panic on the face of President Bush. The man was trying to warn the country, but many Americans simply wouldn't listen. That is the exact same scenario today. We can't add to the $14 trillion debt. The Democratic Party and President Obama have to stop deficit spending. They have to cut back on entitlements and everything else. Medicare and Social Security have to be reformed, or America will suffer like it has never suffered before. And by the way, in order to save the country, the Fed spent $411 billion on bailouts. So far, $260 billion of that has been repaid. Not a bad investment. And that's the memo.